Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jeffrey, and I'm busy being terrible. What terrible thing do I have today? Well, I've got an unboxing of a Logitech G29. So let's just cut it open and see what it's like. So I know I said I was getting a Fanatic CSL Elite, but I'm having a lot of issues with shipping and order confirmation and everything with them. So I saw this on Amazon available and I thought I'd go for more. So I haven't heard so much about this wheel. I mean, I know it's weak compared to Fanatic wheels, um, but I've heard the build quality is really good. I've heard the leather feels really nice. So let's get some first impressions of it. So the wheel here comes separate, power plug, and the pedals. Oh, the wheel's not separate, I mean, attached to the wheels. Okay, let's get a closer look. All right, so we got a couple things here. It comes with a quick instruction set, some warnings. Uh, it's got some ads for play seat and warranty information. So looking here at the wheel, um, I mean, the leather does feel pretty nice. Um, not amazing, but feels feels like it'll last. Nice buttons. All feel good to click. Doesn't seem like any of those buttons will be any issue. So the wheel here has, um, has some routing for the cable has clamp to attach it to a desk, or let's see if there are mounting holes, because we have the mounting point already. So we also have the shifters. Oh, the shifters feel very nice and sturdy, actually. That's one of the best things feeling on it so far. So onto the pedals. So we got three pedals with this set, including the clutch pedal. Uh, nice metal construction. So the gas pedal here is fairly soft, but um, you know, has enough resistance, comes back really quickly. The brake pedal is very hard to press, very strong. That seems like it's a pretty good build. And the clutch here is tougher than the gas, but definitely not near as hard to press as the brake. So overall seems like a pretty good set. Uh, here on the bottom, you definitely have mounting holes for mounting it to any platform, or it's got this um, bar here, which looks like it can roll down and and dig into your carpet if you're just using this on the carpet. So the pedals are gonna to attach to the base with this serial type port. And here's the adapter for plugging it in. So it comes in two parts, a uh, regular two prong adapter for the US, attached here, and then a round barrel plug that goes back into the wheel base. Okay, so I'm gonna be installing this uh, Logitech G29 in my next level racing FGT cockpit that I had the unboxing and assembly video for that I'll link. So the pedals here have six mount points. So three along the top and three along the, the middle bottom. So I've already got some of the bolts started. So the cockpit came with uh, eight bolts. So we'll use six of them here with the washers. These are the small bolts. So they just go from the bottom up into the melting holes. and twist them until it's tight. So I've already started the other six, the other five, six in total. So let me just tighten them all up. Now if uh, some of these are in a position that you can't reach, you could remove the pedal plate, attach the pedals to it, and then remount the pedal plate at the end. So if you notice, I moved the pedal plate up to the formula position uh, from my other video. I had it down in the GT position. So I found before I even got this, I found that was kind of an issue. The GT position only has two mount points for the whole pedal plate and it caused it to have a ton of flex. So with this angle bracket that you use up in the formula position, there's much less flex here. So it may be a tiny bit and I might be able to tighten it up some more to resolve that. Next, we need to mount the wheel. So the wheel really comes, it's meant for desks more often. 
So it has this desk mount on the front. By loosening these, you expand the space here. So this is the width of a desk that you can mount it to. For this, uh, we'll be using those front mounts as well as two mounting holes that are in the back. So once you open them up wide, put it on here. And there are two mounting holes that you'll line up with. Tighten the two bolts. Okay, nice and tight. And then we also tighten on the front clips just by turning these plastic pieces. So tighten them both all the way. Oh crap. Don't do that. First you have to run the cables from your pedals and from your power adapter. Those go under the wheel. So actually you have to do that before you complete the inside. Okay, so there's a couple different cables here. So one, the USB data cable that goes to the computer comes out. And this serial style cable for the pedals needs to go in. So here's where you attach pedals. Here's where you attach a shifter. Plug in the pedals. And wrap the cable out. Now the power adapter. Oh, okay. It also goes right here next to the pedals. Plug it in. Route the cable around. So you put all your cables through these channels. That way they'll be out of the way, nice and flat. And then attach it. Okay, and to cable manage this, we'll run these cables, you know, along the edge here. We have the included Velcro snaps, strips from the next level racing cockpit. So we'll slide these all over to the edge and lock them in place. Okay, now what I really need to do though is get the right fit for how I sit where the steering wheel lines up, where the pedals lines up. Um, this whole mounting point is slidable, both directions, up and down. Uh, and this is also tiltable. So I really need to see how this is gonna work for me, um, my size, my seating, and my computer. So let me slide it forward a little bit. And then let's get in, see how it fits. Already the pedals are close, so I can just move the seat back a little bit. Well, definitely the wheels. So let me just take some time and go ahead and, and get this set up, and I'll come back with you once I figure it out. Okay, so I think I've got everything adjusted in a comfortable position. Got the wheel right here, pedals. You can still see um, there's a little flex in the pedals. Certainly not, you know, like the 80 20 mounts or anything. Um, the wheel here, there's a little flex back and forth in the wheel base here. Um, 
Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I don't think it's going to be, it's not so much. Um, but yeah, the adjustment seems pretty good. It's comfortable. Now, obviously the G29 is a little bit smaller than your standard wheel. Um, so we'll just see how it is in actually racing. But man, the, the shifters feel really good. So last thing to really do, I need to slide this forward up to my PC and then plug it in. Even. And then be able to get into a USB port. There we go. Okay, so this is the final setup. I've got the wheel mounted. Uh, I've got it here on the Next Level Racing FGT. Now I'm noticing with this stand, there's a little bit of give here back and forth in the wheelbase. Maybe once I attach the felt strips, that'll get better. Uh, and the, the pedals do have a little bit of give. In, in the pedal plate down here. Um, not sure if there's anything I can do about that. But if you come look at the full setup, I've got the nice cable management. So it comes out here, down this arm, down, USB goes to the PC, the pedal cable goes to the pedals, and the power cable comes off right here. So they have a power adapter wall outlet right beside me. So this can be set in PS3 or PS4 mode. For a PC, we use PS4 mode. All right, and this is it. Last step is to plug it in. So here's just some pics of the final setup. Big thanks to my wife for the recording and editing help with this video. I'm sure going to do some follow-ups, so be sure to check those out when I post them in a couple days or a couple weeks. Thanks.